check out the old automotive books back here. <laughs> Their history. Those are your dad's, right? Yeah, it was uh, probably 50 years worth of automotive books. How to fix whatever it is. And there's no salvaging all this. I oh, mean. no, there's no salvaging anything. Did you, were you able to salvage anything? Nope. Um, even our brake, which was half inch steel, is warped. What about your presses? Nope. Everything warped. The fire burned very hot. All the coils out of all the motors are burned up and melted. And I see the roof's gone. What did it do? Collapse? Sure. Yep. Let's look at the faint scent of smoke in here. Yeah. Wow. So this building was what, about 50 years old? No, this building was only uh, 12 years old. It was a 12 year old building and uh, you know when my father retired he went up north and then he came back and um, he wanted to build a metal shop and I told him to build the back of the shop here and he was like, no, he goes, I don't want to be around and bug you. I'm, Come on, Pop, took me 37 years to want to hear what you had to say and now you don't want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, really? I go, yep. So he built the shop. He lived another two years and worked back here doing a lot of metal work for me too because what would take me three days to do, he could do in four hours. So he knew his metal work very well. <laughs> See, those are good memories to have. Oh, those yeah. Those are very good memories to have. No, no, no. He was a good guy. So. It was fun. <laughs> but, so much for that history. The grandkids are kind of bummed because they helped him build it. And they've seen a lot of the stuff here. And now, you know, it's all gone. So. Yeah. But at least it's still here in your memory. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was more than that in memory. I mean. His old roofing sign was up in the rafters from uh, San Fernando Valley, Shembury and Sons Roofing. <laughs> when did he start in the business? Uh, my grandfather started in 27, and my dad started after the war. He came home, my grandfather had a stroke, and my dad took over the business. So. Okay. Yeah. So your dad served in which branch? Uh, he went into the Merchant Marines because he lied about his age, and he was only 17. So, and then from that, he <laughs> went into the Navy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So your grandfather got his contractor's license when? 27. 27. 1927. And your dad? My dad, um, I am not sure. He got his in the late 40s, uh, okay. I think right after the war. Hmm. So it was Joe Shembury and Sons Roofing, and then it went to the Three Aces, which was my dad and two brothers, and then it went to Shembury and Sons, which was my dad, and then uh, when I went on my own, it was Weathertight Roofing, because my dad didn't want me capitalizing on the family name. <laughs> And then when he was passing away, he asked me, he goes, I want to ask you one thing, guy. And I go, what's that? And he goes, you ashamed of your name? And I go, Dad, if you remember when I started the business, you didn't want me to use the name Shembry. Kind of looked down and he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all good. Yep, it's all good. See, they're, even though they're gone, they're still with us. Oh, as yeah. long as people remember them. Oh, yeah. I came across the videos I took of my Uncle Tony the other day. You know, he's the one that taught me roofing. My dad was the businessman. Um, he was pretty cool, showing us where he crash landed in Poland. And what how, do you mean? Well, what he mean? was shot down over Poland. He was a, a tail gunner. On a B-17 or uh -huh, B-29? On a B-17. What and, year was he shot down? Uh, I'm not sure what year he was shot down. 43, I think. So how... Spent time in POW camp? No, no, no. Um, the French Alliance helped get him out of the country, you know. So he basically went from Poland, and they took him through the, you know, underground, took him into France, and from France they got him back to the U.S. Poland or Holland? Poland. He got shot oh. down in Poland. He got shot down over Germany, but they landed in Poland. Got it. Okay. So they must have been bombing Berlin then. Yeah, they were bombing Berlin. Okay. Yeah. So, and Tony was pretty cool. He was probably the healthiest of all of them because... Basically, he just was on the roof all the time and didn't really have to handle the business, and uh, he never smoked. He always ate well. He was a good guy. Yeah. So. And he passed recently, from what I recall. He passed uh, Two years ago? a little over a year. Okay. Yeah, about a year and eight months ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. well, We never got to interview him. Nope, but so, I got some interviews with him. Yeah, so we're going to post those as well. Sure, I'll give you them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. okay. Anyway. Anyway, so much for that. This will all be gone soon. And we're making a Joshua Barton is my nephew is rebuilding the metal shop inside our warehouse. So we can get back up and running. 
Why don't you put it back out here again? I'm not gonna, nah, we don't mm. need this much space. Mm. Basically, all of this was a lot of history and I was thinking, God, I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> and my kids are gonna have to not only deal with my junk, they're gonna have to deal with grandpa's junk because there was so much stuff in here. <laughs> but, but that's the fun part. Yeah, well, that problem's been solved now. <laughs> <laughs>